Hello everyone, this is Ryan here again. Another episode of Professional Farmer 2014. And from last episode, we did some cultivating, bought some equipment, and this episode, hopefully, we'll uh, plant some fields here. So, yeah, we'll uh, get started on that, I believe. Let me see once here, what do we got? Yeah, we got our cultivator planter. Need to sell this yet. And I want to sell and replace that as well. So, anyway, we'll hop in our tractor here and um, start planting. Should be able to plant pretty quick with this nice big planter here. And to fill this up, we'll drive over to our... I'm not sure what you call this place here. Home Magazine Menu. Hmm. Basically our home storage, and we're going to fill the cedar. Ooh, I wonder how much this cedar holds. Uh, apparently all of it. And it's still not quite full yet. Okay. Good to know. And the one field we purchased is already planted, so we don't have to do that one. We go to M here. And fields. This one's already sown in rape. And yeah, we're going to sow these two with wheat. And the reason I'm doing wheat, by the way, is... Yeah, if you drive past here, the only silo I have at the moment is for wheat. And I could upgrade that to add more, but I think we'll hold off on that for the moment. We've only got $40,000, so... And it looks like night is falling. If we do L, that should turn on our lights. Okay. Attachment down. R. That look like we have to turn it on in any way, so we should be good to go. And let's see what year. Probably four. Yeah, that looks like it's working pretty nicely. Get over on the field just a little bit more here. Don't need to be planting that grass off to the side. That don't do us any good. Yep, sun is definitely going down. Definitely a nice looking uh, sun. I believe this is a sunset, unless it's a sunrise. No, it should be a sunset, because we haven't had night yet that I know of. Also, I noticed we need to fertilize that one field we bought yet, so we'll have to make sure we do that. <clears throat> and we may have to play around with the two to see if even fertilizer has any effect on the field. I definitely want to try that. Maybe we'll try that on that small one we have there. We'll uh, fertilize it this time, and then maybe next time we'll skip fertilize it and see if we get about the same yield. I'm going to assume it probably works the same way a uh, farming sim later does. But yeah, I'm not sure on that. We'll, uh, we'll definitely find out. Yeah, Agriculture Sim at 2013, it doesn't seem to have any effects, so... do not seem to be any advantage of fertilizing versus, you know, not fertilizing. Oh, 
wonder if we can go a little faster. Yeah, it looks like we can. No. 5A is about all we can do. Okay. Actually, I could probably tr play with a little bit if we did uh, 4B. It'll take that. And if we try 4C, ooh, 20 kilometers per hour. Yeah, you can play around with it. It's kind of cool. You know, you can play around with these gears a little bit and you can eke out just a little bit more speed. That sound like the tractor's working a little more now, but... And it sounded like as soon as I raised it up, all of a sudden the tractor, you know, it wasn't working as hard anymore. That's pretty cool. And then we're going uphill, so it's going a little bit slower. Yeah, you can definitely hear it in the gear change there. All of a sudden, the tractor's working harder. So, I say the actual gameplay in this game probably isn't as good as Farming Sim yet. Yeah, as uh, the playability, maybe. Or the, maybe I should say, probably the length of playability isn't as good as Farming Sim yet. But the mechanics are definitely here to. Uh, definitely to make it uh, beat farming sim so not sure how we got so far off down here but Yep, I went to push V there to uh, lower my implement. That's a uh, farming sim. Still used to that. Oh well. That's for trouble. You play farming sim, then you play this, or you play this, then you play farming sim. Oh boy. Start pushing different buttons that are... Yeah, they're the same, a lot of the same buttons. You know, you got V and R and E and F and C, but they do different things in different games, so... Hey, I can see as soon as I lift that planter up, the tractor takes right off. That's pretty cool. Hope everyone's having a good holiday so far and had a good Christmas. Maybe playing some new computer games. No, it wasn't gifted to me, but I've been playing Age Empires the uh, 2, that's the HD version, so always enjoyed playing that when I was, well, when it was the non-HD version, I should say, back in the, it's probably 10 years ago now, I'm going to say, or maybe more, that's an old game. But it was also kind of one of my favorites of the eight, of the uh, Age Empire series. The amount of detail in that game was always fun. So yep, bought that for myself. It was on s half off sale, something like that. So also been playing quite a bit of Minecraft lately. Uh, the one six four packs for Feed the Beast have come out. Got our servers updated to uh, that. And also for my farming sim server, we're uh, working on getting a new map set up there, so...
yeah, definitely nice to have a couple days off between uh, Christmas and New Year's here. Hopefully this uh, shows up okay on YouTube. I know, uh, you know, darkness, you know, really tends to get dark on YouTube, so see how that uh, looks. Actually, I should say not YouTube so much. It's actually just the plain the fact of recording a video and rendering it. That's usually what makes it dark, so... So even though it's, you know, it's dark, but it looks okay to me, but to you guys, once you look at it and play it, it's like, oh, wow, that can't see nothing. Well, for me, it looks just fine. And I'm still playing the career mode yet. And speaking of career mode, someone asked uh, where the cell point is. I did happen to find it in career mode. I'll finish this field here in a minute and I'll show you guys on the map where the cell point is. There we go. And I probably should just check here and make sure it actually is. I don't think I did on the other field as well. It is 100% and we'll go check the other one here in a minute. Ah, uh, capacity 1,200. Okay, that's kind of what I figured it was, 1,200. And we still got a oh, half left. That's the area, so 100% perfect. Okay, cell point on the map. It's kind of dark. Actually, I guess that works out pretty good. Uh, the farm is right here. We're down by this purple the tractor's actually right there. The uh, cell point is this kind of light blue... I think that's supposed to be like a silo icon there. That's where your cell point is. And as far as I know, that's where you sell everything. And your cell point for your straw, I believe, is up here. As far as I know, those are the only cell points. I'm not aware of anything else on this map for cell points. Which I'm kind of okay with, you know, just sell everything at one spot. That might change in the future. They maybe might add more cell points. Who knows? Like I said before, I kind of look at this as the first release of this game. So, you know, I would expect, you know, if they come out with Professional Farmer 2015, we're going to be looking at a lot more features, I would assume. Okay, disconnect that. Why'd our lights go off? What, uh... That's weird. Okay, everything should be planted. Early spring. And we're gonna go to M here. We really don't have anything else to do that I know of. Go over to mechanics and we're gonna hit the next round. Hopefully you guys could read that. I seen something about we made some money off our uh, chickens, eggs, and some milk, so. Move that out of the way. I was going to say, we could use this John Deere, but that's right. This thing doesn't have a three-point hitch, so. Yeah, we're going to stuck with this tractor again. And we're going to go fertilize. I don't recall if I've done this on screen yet or not. And ooh, it's already full too yet. Cool. 
And we gotta harvest or fertilize both fields we just planted and fertilize the one we bought, because that one did not come fertilized. Stingy little buggers. Yep, our wheat's coming up. Zoom out a little bit here so I can actually see what I'm doing. Let's see. T to start fertilizing. Okay. And our gear. We probably should lower that down. I really like the texture on these. I don't think I don't know if I've showed this before or not, but kind of the cool pellet looking texture. I think it's just cool. Now compared to the shading like farming sinews, this is I think a whole lot better. Nice width on this uh, spreader as well. Shouldn't take long to do this at all. And I found if you can see these lines in the map or in the field here, it's like, well, yeah, I don't know if I can quite, uh, maybe if I get out of the tractor. You can see a line right here, and you can see a line right here, and then there's another one there, and there. I found it seems like the spreader good coverage. If you go down, take about the second line, so it covers basically, I'll say, four lines worth, or four groups, or whatever you want to call them. That's what I found to work the best for me. So I'm just going to drive right down this line. Should give me nice even. See it's covering that one just a little bit there. So nice. Almost perfect. So if you do want to do it in a cab, you can actually do it in a cab and just follow this line and it should be, you know, good. Ah, uh, something I never noticed before here. Cool. Down on the little HUD there, there's apparently a PTO icon. Let's see, I want... Yeah, this one right here. You guys watch down there, the little icon turned on for the PTO. At least I'm assuming that's PTO. Gotta be what that is. I'm assuming that's what this spreader would run on. Yeah, like I said, I really like the level of detail they put into this spreader here. Unfortunately, not quite wide enough to cover the whole field. We gotta go over it one more time and get the little bit left over here. Well, I guess we don't have to, but uh, I like to see my stuff to 100%, so. And one of the biggest things I hope they add to this game is uh, mowing grass for the cows and stuff that would be uh... Cause right now the cows you just buy them and don't have to do nothing with them it's a little bit disappointing and the hired workers but that you know I, I can kinda live with that one it's like uh... not the nicest but oh well let's see what's here Oop. we can drive up over this hill here and that'll get us to our field fertilizer holds 480 okay okay we got some looks like bee houses there and this does not die okay I was gonna say this doesn't get us to our field it does right over here Castle up there looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's a good sized field, so hopefully this will bring us in some nice money when we go to harvest it. 
it's one of the things they supposedly changed with the uh, latest, I think it was the latest update, or you had the update before. They updated the prices, so supposedly everything's different and varies and stuff, so that should be good. I haven't actually got to sell any crop, well, before the update, I should say. I have sold crops now in the career mode, but I haven't actually sold any crops before the update, so I'm not sure what, uh, what it was like before the update, but I guess the way I take it, everything was the same. And this, there's supposedly another bug here with this texture here. I think they supposedly fixed that. Supposedly, I guess. The uh, fertilized texture, I guess, does not go away. So, hopefully they fix that bug now. Because otherwise it's going to make fertilizing next time a little bit harder. Well, we're only a third done with this field. Ooh, this is definitely a lot bigger field. Is it uh, 2.5 hect acres? I'm assuming hect acres. Or is that just acres, I wonder? It's 2.5 hect acres. That's a lot of acres. I believe that'd be 250, I believe. pretty good size for just one field anyway. Not saying it's that big for a farm, that's not, but uh, for one field that is a pretty good size field at 250 acres. Then again, 2.5 acres, that's awfully small for a field. Three of the windmills going. I look at the map here. Yeah, I won't say this is one of the biggest fields, but it's uh, fairly good sized for the, at least the ones that are around us. Got a couple of really big ones way out here. Yeehaw. Tell us what they are. Eight. Seven. Four. Five. That's three. This one over here is only 0 0.6, and this one's 0 0.3. Hooey. It's a pretty small field there. Yep. In my uh, career mode, I think I own all three of these fields here. <coughs> and speaking of career mode, I'm actually kind of stuck at the moment. I'm supposed to harvest three fields. I've harvested four fields now, and for some reason it's not advancing. So I'm not sure what's wrong if I'm supposed to hire a worker to do that. Or if I have another problem, the fact that uh, I bought, you know, the fields to harvest. But it turns out those fields had corn on them. So I couldn't actually harvest the fields I bought. So I ended up buying two more fields so I could harvest them. But... Anyway, if it doesn't advance, I'm just going to play it like I do free play mode, and it uh, can uh, mind its own business as far as I'm concerned. Now, I would definitely recommend you know, play through at least the first year or two of a, the career mode, but then after that, yeah, you should be ready to play with free play mode. Kind of gives you a basic 
tutorial of how it, everything works and happens and what's supposed to happen. And by the way, the reason I'm fertilizing now is because that's what it said in the uh, career mode tutorial, so... Alright, how much fertilizer we got left? Yeah, we got half left yet. And we're almost done fertilizing, okay. By the way, someone did leave me a comment saying these tractors and I don't know if it's tractors, uh, vehicles in general, I guess, can overheat, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, and we probably should uh, get ourselves some fuel on this tractor. The uh, yeah, left side of the HUD there, that's our fuel gauge, and then on the right side, I believe that's our coolant temperature. Right about where I say it should be, you know, about halfway. You don't want your coolant cold, you want it you do want it warm. But you just don't want it hot either. Let's see what's right. Yeah, I guess we'll go stick this back under our building over there. Also, I'd like to note one other thing. You can see this tractor is getting dirty, so they've added that into the game. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty good on the tires, anyway. And see if we go to the fuel here. And we want to fill her up. And then we can clean vehicle. I wonder if this actually costs anything. We've got 39785. Apparently it doesn't cost anything to clean vehicles. Okay. Doesn't clean our tires though? Hmm. Maybe our tires were that way. Wait a minute. Okay, now our tires are clean. That's weird. I was gonna say, I thought I'm pretty sure these tires were clean when I got this tire when I started the game. Okay. Now the only thing we gotta do is wait for our crops to grow. I don't believe there's anything we can el anything else we can do at this point. I guess we're gonna make the assumption this is uh instead of winter wheat, this is gonna be spring wheat. Normally wheat do you uh think uh, wheat yeah, wheat. <coughs> Get the right one here. I was thinking oats there. Wait a minute. No, not oats. It's wheat. Plant uh, in the winter time. Or actually, not in the winter time. You plant it in the fall. And it sits over the winter time. Okay, go back to M here, and we're ready for the next round. Yep, our wheat's definitely coming up. We'll take a jog over and see what our rape field looks like as well. I believe both the uh, wheat and the rape field over here will be uh, ripe at the same time. And I'm assuming this is actually canola, so maybe I'll probably actually just keep calling it canola. Ah, that's cool. That's a... Uh, looks like that's an apple tree. Yeah, I'm going to say that's apple. Early summer. That definitely shouldn't be ripe apples on that yet. At least not red ones.
<gasps> what was that? Not sure what that was there. Ah, uh, canola field. This field definitely looks nice. I really like the texture of this. Okay, I guess we're ready for the next round again. Switching to next round, recalculating, blah blah blah, and looks like we're ready to harvest. Late summer. Ready to harvest, 100%. Perfect. And we'll take a jog back over to our wheat field here. We got a little bit of an orchard there. I wonder if those trees don't change. Maybe that's it. Hmm, I'll have to go look at that again once we uh, maybe advance it a little bit more. Yep, and our wheat is ready to harvest as well. So I'll uh, call it an episode here. Obviously, next episode we'll hopefully be harvesting this wheat and canola. So, if you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.